guys, what's up? I know I said this at least a billion times, um, but this is another tutorial for you guys. It was requested, and this is how to use iMovie, which is a free application for anyone that has a Mac or anything like that. It's a free application put on by Apple, and if you don't have it, I guess you have to pay for it, but it's not that expensive. And this is how to add, like, cut-ins, picture-in-picture, green screen, all of that. So it's just a basic one, and there's going to be series for the key, all the free Apple apps and some Windows applications. So as I said, like before, I have a different Mac. This, this is my new one. This is a new computer. And um, on this one, this is using, instead of all my paid applications like Adobe and things like that, I'm actually using iMovie just for this particular one. I normally use Final Cut or Adobe, but to show you guys if you guys don't want to spend too much money. So this one, this is a real project, and I actually edited it on iMovie just for you guys. So it took a long time, but this is for you. So I'm just going to open iMovie up. And this is my iPhone 6 review, 2.0. I actually made a review and then revised. So this is kind of a sneak peek. This is coming out either today or tomorrow. So this is the review. As you can tell, my audio quality isn't the best right now. I'm using just my computer mic. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, leave a comment if you hear an audio difference. But definitely like up the studio if you like it and if it helped you out. But this is for you, Techno Now, and a few other people that asked. So this is how to add something like this. So you, you can see over here. Sorry, you can see right over there that there's a, in the little window finder. Let me go over to it for you guys you can see that this picture right here is showing up over there. And you're probably a little bit confused how, and that it zooms in as we go through. So you, that that's something, and then also this one when you're talking about a channel. So that is on the screen, so you're probably wondering how to do that, or something like a cut through, so you could be talking about one product and then you immediately go to a picture, or how to use a green screen. So here we go, guys, this is how to do it. So first thing, you're going to go to File, no, sorry, iMovie, Preferences, and you don't actually, if you have an older model, so you probably don't, this is the latest model, but if you have an older one, there's going to be something here that says allow advanced effects. You don't need to turn that on if you have the newer model. So what I'm going to do actually, now after I showed you these, I'm just going to create a new project. And we're just going to call this, we're going to do no theme, and we're going to call this video project. Okay? So I spelled that wrong, of course, but... There we go, and I'm just going to add it to 2615, and click OK. Here we go. We're going to head over to Video Project. So you can see I actually, I import some of my projects to iMovie after I'm done using them. And over here, okay, there we go. So we have a blank file. What you want to do is you want to add in, I'm also going to show you how to do side by side. I know I'm like everywhere, but so I'm going to add in a picture. This is actually a picture that's in my iPhone review, a little test picture. So we're going to add this in. So this is what it looks like. This is iMovie. If you don't know the basics, definitely leave me a comment below on how to just use iMovie in general. But this is for some people that know how to use iMovie, but not to the ex full extent. So now over here, we got our second picture. See that right here? This is the picture that we want to use. And all we're going to do is we're just going to drag it. We're going to drag it on. So I'm going to start it from the beginning. You could start it from any point. I'm going to start from the beginning just for this purpose. So now we can see right now, this is what it looks like. Just that photo. If I moved it over a little bit, this is what it would look like. So that's what it looks like. So before we do anything, I'm just going to change the cropping on both of these. So now it's on fit. By doing that, I mean, you probably know the basics if you don't. Definitely leave a comment down below, and I will do a whole basics on iMovie. Even if just one of you want it, I will do it for you guys. So just definitely leave a comment. Um, okay, so you're just going to double tap, and you're going to fit this. So I'm not going to explain what I'm doing, because I think that you probably know it. But if you don't, I'll explain the new stuff that we're talking about in this video. But I'm not going to explain old stuff. So leave a comment if you want that. So now we're just going to double tap on this, and we can see over here, it says cutaway in this area. It's cutaway. So you that's what a cutaway is, so it goes from one thing to another. And we can have it like be a little bit opaque opacity, so then it's like a little bit dimmer. I'm gonna keep it on the same. You can like fade it. But let's say that we want a picture in picture. So you're just gonna click on cutaway and then click picture in picture. Now you see it became really small. You can move it anywhere in the screen, anywhere that you want, and then you can enlarge it. 
So let's say that I like it like this. I just want this to be showing up in the screen. And then you can change the borders and whatever. You don't actually have to click anything. You just click off it and then it's good. Now let's say I decide, oh, I don't, I don't want that. I want it a little bit over. I want it right here. You just double click on the, double -click on the picture and then you just move it. So now we moved to where we want. But let's say now I decide, no, I want a side by side. I want them to be equal. I want a side by side. We're just going to double click on it again. And over our picture in picture, we're going to do a side by side. So now we can see iMovie does it for you. And now they're both side by side. Now let's say that we want a side by side, but we are on the right side. Double click again, move it to the right. So on Final Cut and things like that, it's way more customizable. But that's why the effects and stuff isn't great on my iPhone 6 review. I mean, they're good. They're really good. But they could be better, but I did this one for you guys. So um, so that's how to do picture in picture. Now let's say that I add a green slide. So if I have a green slide, I'm just going to pick up an image that I know has a okay back. And I'm just going to show you it. It might not work, but we're going to try it out just for you guys. So um, we're going to take this over here, which if we open this up, has like a grayish background. It probably will not work. But I'm going to hope it does just for you guys. So I'm just going to delete this out, drag this one in, and I'm going to put it here. And then we're just going to click um, green screen. And i um, just going to fix the cropping, go back to this. So after I do it, so it did work actually. So this kind of, it seems like a picture in picture again. But um, this is how to use like a green screen feature. So what you would do, I'm just going to delete, delete this out for you guys, is you drag your picture in. So whatever you want to be on top, this is your going to be the thing that is filmed with the green screen. So this over here, this clip, is the thing that is filmed. So let's say it's you standing in front of the green screen. So this is you standing in front of the green screen. Now you want a background, right? So the background... Uh, sorry about that. The background is the is this over here. Sorry. This is the background. I know that was a little bit confusing. This is the background, and then what you're pulling up now is you standing in front of the green screen. So we're just going to pull that up, as you can see, and you're just going to put it on top, and then you're just going to click green screen. So now this is you in front of the green screen, and then this is this piece right here is the um, is the like the uh, thing that you want to show up in the background. So over here you can make it like softer if you want. I'm just going to keep it, and then over here I'm just going to fit it. So then you can go back, right? and you want to clean it up. Let's say you want to erase some. So if you don't want like your whole background, so I just erased it. So now I'm just going to click edit, undo, edit, undo. So you can have it be a little bit or you can have it just like, let's say I just want like a little faint. You can only erase parts of it. So now that it looks like that. So it has multiple layers. So now we are just erased some of it. So now we can go and we can resize it. So Let's say that this is a full image, but we just want to show some of the subscribe. We can like move it over and go like that. I actually do have a green screen, so I will be making a separate video on a green screening, but this is just a quick look for you guys. And then once you're done, that is what it looks like. So now just that shows up. So if this, if this was the background and then this part was you, then you would see that this part would be you and then this would be the background. It does work. I've done it many times. Um, I know that was a little bit confusing, so I will be doing, of course, another, um, uh, photo, like another, um, whole video on it. Definitely like below if you definitely want that. So those are your four options. So there's other features that you can mess with, but those are just your quick options. So let me just show you how to do it on the video. So we're just going to go up here and we're just going to take a video. So once we dropped our video in, so this is just a quick little snippet from my clip. I don't want to give everything away, but this is just a quick snippet. Um, if you want the background, I will try to link below, of course. Um, but this is just a little snippet of it. So this is a video, and if we want, let's say I'm talking about subscribing to the channel. I'll drag the subscribe in, and I want it to show up when I'm saying it. So let's say I say, please subscribe, right there. And I want it to show up, like, right then. And I'm going to put an annotation on it, so here's what you do. I'm going to restart this just for you guys. So, you can enlarge this to get the exact spot, so by just dragging, you probably know that if you're on this. So, this is the smallest it can be, and then when you're doing something like this, you want to make it the largest. So, let's say that I know at right here, I say it, so I know right there, right? 
So I keep the little pin pointer there. You can see it says a little circle there. And then I drag my image right at the exact pin point. So now my image is too long, right? So you can like stop it whenever you want. So you can either just do it by hand or you can edit the length on here. I'm just going to fit it for now. So you can um, edit like the color, everything on here. You can also edit the length. Now let's say that I want to just be a little annotations and it doesn't take away. So I want to do picture in picture, let's say. So I'm going to do one for you guys and then you guys can see the final product. So let's say that I want to put it like right here, not in everyone's way, but I want people to see it. And I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I think that that's probably good. So of course you want to take these things away because that like blurs the image. And then I'm going to do just um one more effect. So I'm just going to do a dissolve and we're going to do that for... 0.09 okay so that's what just showed up there that's for the 0 0.09 so now let's say that I'm gonna like reenact this for you guys just so you can like see how the timing works hey guys what's up hoping you're enjoying this video so far please subscribe to the channel and then it would show up like right as I said it and then it would stop so as you can see it just came up it dissolved in so it wasn't like too straight away and if you plan it out beforehand, you can have yourself pointing up there. So, like, I could, like, have my finger being, like, please subscribe, and then, like, p pointing it there. So that's how to do a quick picture in picture. That's, like, a real-life thing. And if we just wanted it, let's say that we want to take the same video again. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to drag the same video in. And we want a video picture in picture. So now we can edit this again, and I'm just going to make this, like, much shorter. So I'm going to go back just to this mode for now. Just so I can, I, I don't want it to be that long, so I'm just going to shorten it up to about two seconds. Then we go back to large mode. And as you can see, so now it looks like this. And it cuts away to that. So, uh, let's say I want a picture in picture again, and I'm just showing you this with the video. So I'm going to just go like so, make it as big as I want. If I'm showing, let's say I'm showing like 1 plus 1 coverage or something, or an event coverage, and I want to just show like some pics of the phone or like something from the coverage I could do it like that and I'm just gonna of course stop that and then if we go over here now it goes like that so now that shows up or it could be like showing let's say I'm saying like the phone freezes up and let me show you an example of it and then I can show it up there or something so I could do something like that so that's just like a quick little intro into how to do all this definitely like and comment on this video if you want more like this and anything like that thanks again for watching and this has been MBT